Hey Aries, what's up? I hope you had a beautiful Valentine's Day. Um, welcome to your February 15th to 25th, 25th, February 15th to 21st reading. So let's get started. Um, exciting news. My March love and career readings are available on Vimeo. So I have the links to those in my description if you are interested, um, or in the description for this video, um, my February ones are still available if you're interested in those. But yeah, March is ready to go. So let's take a look and see what is going on for the week ahead. Okay, that feels good. No flyer cards. All right, the stress is real this week. Harry's, holy, oh my goodness, okay. So, what is happening? Every time I do a video, these animals are acting up. I think it's because I'm not paying attention to them, so they do it on purpose. Anyways, so the very first card I pulled was the nine of swords so um that's a little stressful for sure so i mean you can tell by this card um this guy's in his bed sitting up his head in his hands he's crying he can't sleep so this is legitimately it's a, just a very it's a very stressful card um and crossing it is the eight of pentacles so this is telling me that your stress source seems to be from work. And um, it's weird. There's such, um, it's like there's opportunity. What are you doing? What, 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 what do you want? Come here. Oh my God. I'm sorry, but monkey wants to say hello. Say hi, monkey. Yeah, now you're going to be awkward. Right, okay, you've got nothing to say. Come on, I can't pay attention to you all the time. You're such a baby. I'm sorry, okay. So sorry. So your source of stress is coming from work. Now, it's interesting how opposing each other is the ace of wands and then we've got the justice card so um the justice card reversed so it's it's just like there's i feel like there's opportunity it's almost as if you've been given a new task or a new responsibility you're at a new job or something and you're working so much and it's supposed to be a gift to you it's supposed to be like something you've worked really hard for. It's supposed to be um, an opportunity, but things just aren't going your way. Now, I mean, that's pretty specific. So obviously that's not gonna resonate with a lot of you, but um, I think the message here is if things are going tough for you at work, just know that there is opportunity amongst the bullshit and the whatever you're going through. And I feel like you are going through a rough patch, like, you're just like holy shit like did I make a huge mistake or what the fuck am I doing like what's going on um but in the past position is the world card reversed which is telling me that the universe works in mysterious ways so there is it's all about divine timing um if you are stressing okay and if it doesn't have to do with work if it has to do more with like projects and stuff like that um maybe side projects just know that there is a reason for this there's some kind of lesson to be learned which i know is super duper annoying completely annoying i understand sorry um, about that um constant interruption this happens in so many of my videos that i have to let my dog out or my 
Or my fucking cat shows up. What? Stop it. Okay. So, anyways. So, yes. I feel like there is a strong indication that this has to do with work. The King of Cups is also coming up. And I also feel like, and I, I know this is your like, well, why am I watching this if it can be all these things? Well, I'm also feeling that it could have to do with love. Maybe all of the above. Um, it could have to do with your relationship that you're currently in. If it's like brand new or something, it just feels shaky. And you're stressed the hell out. But you are, so, oh my God, you are so stressed. And in the fear position is the tower, like... Whatever it is you're stressing about, you literally think everything's going to go to shit. And I'll tell you what, if you have that attitude, it just might. So, um, I know it's easier said than done, but you definitely need to shift your energy. You need to shift your focus. You need what you're doing isn't working and it's certainly not working for you. Another thing that's coming up is the high priestess and... I think on top of all this, I feel like there's someone in your life that isn't making the situation any better. So when the high priestess comes up, she's a very wise woman and she's badass and she lives within us. And she is always saying, when she comes up, she's saying like, listen, just look at me for advice. Look to me for advice. I'm the high priestess. I live within you. So what she's basically saying is look for her wisdom and don't look elsewhere for wisdom. I feel like there's, with the king of wands coming up here too, and he's reversed, it's like, there could be people in your life right now that are giving you all kinds of advice and telling you what to do. Yet, like, everyone's got a fucking opinion. It's like the old saying goes. It's very true. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got them. But only Aries knows what Aries needs. So whoever this person is in your life that's kind of chirping away or whatever fucking stop it stop going to them for advice another thing about this person is not only do they give you advice but they're not so willing to help you they're not so willing to help you they are when it's convenient but if they have to get like go out of their way at all to help you they're like oh sorry i can't so if none of this stress stuff um resonates with you think about your friendships the hanged man's coming up as well which has to do with your boundaries i feel like you really need to reevaluate your boundaries there's definitely people in your life that you need to deal with you need to do some housekeeping it's like they're there for a good time not a long time and they're always around if it's easy but you know if you actually need some help or you know, you need, you just, you need a good friend. It's like they're nowhere to be found. They're only there if things are fun or, or if things are shitty, they love to talk shit and bring you down and make you feel worse, but they're not going to put in the effort to do anything good for you, if that makes sense. So these are just some things coming up. I know it's pretty intense, but it is what it is. Um... This, honestly, this week, I just feel stressed for you. So Aries, make sure you take care of yourself. Self-care is incredibly important. Um, everything's going to work out. Everything's going to be okay. But you definitely need, like, meditation would be good for you this week. Did I say month? This month? Before? Sorry. I don't know. I pff, Stuff comes out of my mouth, and then I find mistakes way later. But anyways, this week... Um, I just, I don't think this is a good week to be making big decisions either because like your head's all over the place. You won't even know what to do. So put some stuff off if you can. Look after yourself, relax, get a lot of sleep and just know that this is just one of those phases and things are going to get better. So anywho, Aries, 
that is your reading for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, my March love and career readings are on Vimeo and the link is in the description of this video. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a good week. De-stress, be good to yourself and I will see you next week, Aries. So bye for now and subscribe to my channel.